Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Adam and Orange and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Starting with usual with both Fascinations and Peace Cool, their websites remain unchanged this week. There's a lot of that going on, nothing new on either website and as far as Fascinations or Metal Earth's website, nothing has moved from coming soon to what's new. Things are just dragging, it's the state of the world today. A lot of things are falling behind because of the pandemic and multiple other things going on. So it's not really much of a surprise, though I did, of course, continue and poke around on Crazy Toys website, crazytoys.co.uk, as well as their AliExpress store. I know a lot of people are very fond of the Crazy Toys store. They are finally carrying the Star Wars models. The Peace Cool Star Wars models, if you're interested in getting those, I'm very seriously thinking about getting at least one just to see what the difference is. Probably going to get the Millennium Falcon, just so I can say I have one from each of the brands. But they it looks like they have all three individually and also a, a, a option for all three together. I think the prices are a little bit higher, but free shipping, so it still kind of evens out. Um, you'd have to best thing is just to check when you're ready to buy to see where their prices are i will put a link in the description down below both at least both to their crazytoys.co.uk site and their aliexpress store looking around other places on aliexpress i did find something that sort of new sort of not there is one store that i've been following for a little while and i don't completely understand them it's called the steel golem store and they have some models that aren't labeled they're labeled as Steel Golem models, where, whereas I don't really think that they, they actually make models themselves. The one that caught my, a couple that caught my attention today when I was breezing, browsing through their stores is a couple of road motorcycles. There is a blue road motorcycle, it's listed as Steel Golem off-road motorcycle. It's a blue color, at least when you first see it. If you go into the listing though, the initial picture is blue, but other pictures of the model and of the box are of silver and it is listed as being a Peace Cool model. It has the Peace Cool name up there and the box that they show is a silver version of this motorcycle that Peace Cool released two or three years ago if not longer. It's, it's kind of an older model. The dimensions on the box 11.5 centimeters by 4.5 by 7 centimeters high. Two sheets. I Again initially shows it as a blue model but then it shows uh, the the actual model from Peace Cool is KMP, no excuse me, it's P046-S, which S usually means silver, and the, the box that's shown shows a silver model, the sheets that are shown show them completely in silver, but then they have their own model number of KMP046, so possibly this is uh, a situation where they've gotten some of the, the Peace Cool models and recolored them? I'm not sure, I know that there is a series of models that pops up on AliExpress from time to time. I get the names confused. I, I want to say Metal Brick, but I'm not sure that's quite right. But there is a, a company that will get Metal Earth models or Metal Earth knockoffs, one of the two. Maybe it's Metal Earth knockoffs and recolor them and then sell them as their own with a little bit of a markup. So maybe this is a similar situation. Either they've gotten some of the Peace Cool models and they've colored them, or they've gotten copycats of the Peace Cool models and they've colored them. It's interesting. The colored version looks really cool, but as far as I know, Peace Cool hasn't come out with a colored version of this model. It's an ultra silver model. So I wanted to share that. I'll put a link in the description down below for you to check that out. But beware, I have doubts that it's actually a Peace Cool model, possibly a copycat. And they also show uh, a steel golem off-road motorcycle in red, which again looks like a Peace Cool model, Peace Cool Motorcycle 2 that's kind of an older model. The Steel Golems model number is KMP057. They show it as red, but then they also show some pictures of the silver version. And it looks like on this particular listing, they also have the silver version available to buy, as well as the red version. The model number for the Peace Cool model is P057-S, again silver. So. I, again, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm a little suspicious of whether or not it's actually a Peace Cool model or they're just using that name because it, it doesn't quite seem to add up. So it may be that they have some of the original silver ones. Maybe you can buy some of the silver ones and maybe you can buy them recolored. I'm not sure. But again, I'll, I'll leave the description down below. There are no customer reviews of it currently. It seems to be fairly new on their store. 
it is listed under the new section just kind of a little bit down so if somebody out there wants to give it a shot and buy it and see just what it is exactly I'd be curious to know but beware I, I'm not it says peace cool on it in the name it has a peace cool logo it doesn't it says it says it doesn't say it in the name but it has a peace cool logo in the pictures but I'm a little dubious that it's actually peace cool because as far as I know peace cool did not release a colored version of that model and looking around at some of the other things that they have on there I did also notice that they have like a monster truck that's in color which was an older peace cool model that was available in silver and they also have a colored version of that so this is something they may have been doing for a while, and I'm just not familiar with it. But again, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to the blue motorcycle, the red motorcycle, and the colored off-road vehicle that I found. And, of course, you can browse the store and see what else they have. I'm not going to go through a detailed list of everything they have. Just The store seems a bit odd. They seem to have a lot of things that are labeled steel goblin models when they look to be actually something else. Whether or not they're just throwing their name out there in the listings or they're selling some sort of knockoff or recolor, I'm not sure. Now, I did take a peek at MU's website, mumodels.com, and I noticed there was a new listing of models that I haven't seen in stores yet. So kind of like Peace Cool, they'll put stuff up and a little while later it'll show up in stores. But it's like a another cityscape or town a series of models to, for the town, for a town, but it's more modern looking than, than stuff we've seen before because MU's already done this with kind of an older style possibly older style version of towns and cities and, and Peace Cool has done their version and have been adding to it but this looks like a new set of models and in one of the pictures they have you know, more modern day like Hot Wheels type cars in it they have the one of the first ones in the list there is a hot pot shop which I understand to be sort of a hot pot restaurant it is listed model number YMN104A size is 50 millimeters by 65 millimeters by 110 millimeters the sheet layout seems to be a bit interesting it's got one 110 by 190 millimeter sheet and three 36.7 by 63.3 millimeter sheets so I think that's like one third sheets so three one third size sheets and one full size sheet I think 430 stainless steel 80 pieces listed as three star it doesn't say three out of what I think it's three out of ten with MU next up we have a tea house which is basically a tea shop my understanding is that you can both buy loose tea leaves or sit down and have tea in the shop it's YM N104B the size of this one is 50 millimeters by 65 by 92 millimeters the sheets again are a bit weird. It's one 110 by 190 millimeter sheet and three 36.7 by 64.4 millimeter sheets. So I think again, kind of about three one third size sheets. It's weird. Again, stainless steel, 68 pieces and three stars on that one. And then we have one that's listed, translates as chess and card room, but really I think it's more of a mahjong poker kind of gaming house not exactly a casino my understanding but just kind of a gaming house and you can clearly see a mahjong tile on the top so i can see how that might get translated into like a chess and card game because a mahjong game is, is is a strategy game chinese strategy game i used to love playing mahjong on my computer never actually played it with actual tiles but model number ym n104c 57 by 60 by 95 millimeter size one full size sheet and one 55 by 95 millimeter sheet and two 27.5 by 47.5 sheets. Again, stainless steel, 68 pieces and three stars. And then we have, last but not least, clothing store, just, you know, retail clothing shop. YM N104D, 44 by 60 by 97 millimeters finished size, two. 55 by 95 millimeter sheets, one 110 by 190 millimeter sheet. Again, stainless steel, 59 pieces and three stars, just like the rest. And I do want to thank Garth Iron for helping him and his, his, his wife for helping me with the translations or helping me to understand what's going on here. Uh, he has offered a few times in the comments to help me translate and understand exactly what those shops are and I did call upon him for a little information so that I'm not just spewing out I don't know what this thing is but it's translating is this because that doesn't always work out 
Can't let another week go by without mentioning Time for Machine. Just kind of following this long-standing saga, I mentioned before that they had finally done an update where they are got their models back and sending out tracking numbers. I did finally get a tracking number for my model. Just tracked it just now to see if anything has changed, and it hasn't in the past couple of days. The last update is from 65 346 of uh, I believe AM but I am not certain. Ukraine, Kiev, item has been processed outward office of exchange and already in transit to destination country. So I guess I'm waiting for it to land in on the US shores and go through customs. The wait continues, but at least I guess I have a tracking number now. They did also put out a recent update after that talking about those who, in, who ordered an engraving and on their model, I guess this is, they're going to send the, the engraving piece separately. And be careful. I, if I understood it correctly, is to, you know, if you want this engraved bit in your model, don't assemble it until you get the engraved bit. I think is what they're trying to say, because then you'd have to just deconstruct the model, which is difficult, if not nearly impossible, to put the engraved bit in. I'm not sure. I didn't order anything engraved, but I, they're, they're putting out updates. I mean, we're still waiting. I'm hearing other people getting tracking numbers, but I've yet to hear anybody who's gotten their model. Yes, I'm still suspicious after everything that happened. Well, that's about it for the news this week, so that brings us to the giveaways that I've been running. Did get a list of the giveaway entries from last week from Code Wiki. We had 28 entries this week. Congratulations to Christopher Thorpe for being this week's randomly chosen winner through the power of random numbers. Chris, I'm going to be probably sending you an email here soon if I haven't already just to verify your address and get that package sent out to you. And, well, it's time for one more giveaway. I still have three models left. I mean, it's only three, but I'm going to draw them from the hat anyway. So we have Slave 1. And we have the 89 movie Batmobile. I don't know if you can see that. And then uh, last but not least, put my hat down, we have the Praying Mantis. So I've already gotten those last three out of the package because there was only three left. The Praying Mantis, the Slave One, and that Batmobile right there, if you're not sure which one the 89 movie is. I've built all of these, so if you need help, I've got videos for it. But these three models are available the um, Batmobile has opened itself, but I'm, everything is in there. I haven't taken anything out. It appears to still have its sheets, just the glue. Came loose in shipping, but these are the next three up for a giveaway. So same as last week, we're going to keep doing the same thing one more time to give away these last three of the set that I have for now. So rules open to any address as long as I can legally financially send there um, as long as it would cost like a hundred dollars I mean I don't think that's the case anywhere as long as I can ship there it's open to any address as usual there will be a link in the description below to go to code Wookie's site where he his page where he's going to have a an entry for this week's giveaway a little form for you to fill out or you can just go to MetalEarthBuilder.com and look for it because he'll he'll put the post up publicly. It won't be like hidden link only. You I will need a name that I can announce a winner. It doesn't have to be your specific legal name. It can just be a name so I can announce just your handle or code word. Something I can announce. I need an email address so I can contact you in case there's any issues with shipping and to verify your shipping address. I prefer to be able to verify if I can beforehand. You need to answer one question about this video. I'm going to give you that, that information here in a bit just to show that you've watched this video. Just so I'm not, again, not having people just randomly go, there's a giveaway I'm going to enter. I don't even know what for. The winner will receive the three models, the Praying Mantis, the Batmobile, and the Slave One models that I just showed. Your deadline is Wednesday, June 17th at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to enter this contest. And again, like before, if you've already won, like in the past three months, if you won one of my giveaways, you're not eligible to win again. Just trying to give as many people a chance as I can. 
And last but not least, as always, don't put your personal information, your address, in the comments down below. It, that's not how we're doing this contest, and it's just not a safe thing to do to per put your personal information out there, because there are, there are unfortunately bad people out there. And for the foreseeable future, that's the end of the giveaways, but who knows, that may change. I've enjoyed being able to do this. I'd like to be able to, at some point, do some more gift card giveaways so people have a chance to choose their own. But for right now, this is the last giveaway that I have in the foreseeable future. And of course, Codebookie put in an interesting little survey along with last week's entries. How do you feel about the concept of multi-model sets designed to be combined together to make a greater whole? And the, there were several different possible answers. The absolute majority response, or the, the one that got the most votes. It depends on what the set is and whether the integration is well thought out. But I think it could work really well. I got 62%, actually almost 63% of the votes, 17 votes. I love the idea, bring it on. That, was, that received seven votes, so that's the, the runner up. I'd rather them just be bundled as a single package. That received two votes. That sounds expensive, one vote, and then not interested, no votes, and got to build them all, no votes. So it seems like there are a fair amount of people that like the idea of combining models into a set as long as it's well thought out. And probably the first thing, well, definitely the first thing that comes to my mind uh, when I think of a combined set, well, we are, we've already had some combined sets. So, like the train, the train set was one that did definitely need to be combined into one thing. So, the train set came with several different cars, and you know they could have split that up into different ones and charged more for each one than it was for the whole. But that was a nice little set of models, and they did well. R two D two and C three PO as a colored set was a nice model. I think that did well. The oil tanker and rig, that was interesting. I mean, they go together, but I can also see those breaking those up. But then they can do combination sets of models, like several different Star Wars models together, or several different Harry Potter models together, or all the insects together. And Barnes & Noble has kind of done that. Barnes & Nobles, when, when they sell these models, and they seem to kind of get in and out of doing it, I've already heard of a couple of instances where they were selling models, and then they clearanced them out, and then they sold them again, and then they clearanced them out. So that's kind of an off and on with with them. But my first model from Barnes & Noble was a three set of tanks. Now at the time there were four different tanks. Why they left one out I have no idea. And they released a fifth since. But they also do, did that with the Star Wars helmets and some of the Star Wars models. They were released two, two or three together. They did that with the Game of Thrones models. They put two of them together. So they were selling them as sets and they were somewhat logically organized. But I don't know. Only having two out of the three or three out of the four, it kind of seems a little incomplete. But I definitely see some possible potential there. And I also see the idea of, of like, for instance, the, the Hogwarts Express came out as a unique, uh, exclusive version through Books A Million, and it was one that had tracks. And they could maybe do something like that, where you have accessories that come with the kits. So you have the larger models that come with some accessories. I mean, you could kind of think of MU and, and Sound Soundwave and the cassettes as one of them. You could get the accessories separately or you could get them all in one kit. That's something they could do. I don't know. Maybe that's what Kobuki was thinking about. I'm rambling a little bit. But there is a potential there, at least for some people. But then again, you are talking about raising the price of, of buying into it if it's only available as a set. And there might be people that are only interested in one part of that set. So do you do them both? Do you do them a set and separately? How does that work? I don't know. So many questions. But it's interesting that a lot of people seem to be supportive of the idea if it's a thought out set. Moving on. One more piece of information, and this is probably going to be uh, part of the the valid, the, the contention check question of the giveaway. Today is a special day for me. Today is the three year anniversary of my heart transplant. Three years ago, today, in the evening, around 4 or 4.30, I was uh, wheeled into the operating room in Pittsburgh. And uh, not even sure if I was going to wake back up ever again. But so tired that I didn't even care. Uh, 
just completely drained with no energy, kidneys failing, heart giving out, difficulty keeping fluid off the lungs, couldn't drink more than like a cup of water a day. Uh, they wheeled me into the operating room and hooked me up and I came out, I don't even know how many hours later, there's some debate on that. And uh, I certainly don't remember, but came out several hours later with a new heart and uh, a new adventure, a new journey began. It was a couple of months of recovery just to get out of the hospital from that. It didn't go as I imagined it. I imagined this beautiful scene of waking up, being surrounded by friends and family and just thrilled to tears to still be alive. And, and I woke up in an ICU room unable to hear but unable to move and respond for an undetermined amount of time surrounded by nurses and beeping machines. It wasn't the fairy tale that I imagined and it was a bit scary because it took them a while to realize that they hadn't reversed the or I hadn't metabolized the, the stuff that put me under properly and they had to give me a shot of something to, to unparalyze me so I could actually move. There was uh, the recovery didn't go as smoothly as one would hope. I mean, there's people that get heart transplants and 10 days later they're going home. I Me, mean, it was two months. I ended up, uh, lungs trying to close up. I ended up being reintubated. I ended up go, staying, going into and staying in kidney failure, having to be on 24 hour dialysis for several days to get fluid off, not being able to stand on my own from laying in bed so long that I was weak, too weak to even move my own legs had to go through rehab to get my strength back. It was an adventure. It was an adventure and every bit of it was worth it. And I'm thankful for the gift that I received. It's been three years and look at me now. I've come so far. It's in one way, it doesn't feel like three years. In another way, it feels like a, a lifetime ago because I t it, my life is different now. So very different. So much more energy and so many things have changed and so many struggles I've gone through and here I am. It's been three years. And just like uh, every year on the three year, on the year anniversary, I always light a candle and leave it burning for the day just to kind of honor the donor. I still do not know who the donor is. I've written a letter, I've not gotten any response. I'm very thankful for their gift. And I'm sure that I'm not the only one whose life they saved and or changed. And I'm very thankful for that. I, I am in the understanding that the heart is younger than I am, but I cannot verify that. I don't know any information. But it's been three years, it's been a fantastic journey, and I'm doing so much better, and I'm getting ready to get back into the working world, which is both thrilling and a little bit sad and disappointing. <laughs> but I wanted to share that piece of information. That'll probably be part of the question that you have to answer to show you watch this video. I'm certainly hoping for many more years with this heart and a much bright, very bright future. I mean, things are looking up from here. But I won't continue to ramble on. I'll leave it at that. Thank you, as always, for watching. Thank you for those that comment. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel. It, it is greatly appreciated. And as always, keep on keeping on.